Good evening, folks, and welcome to Shallow Fairy, the channel. Today, I want to talk about the uh, hashtag Funimation. And the only reason why I'm bringing it up because I've been following the Vic Mignogna case, and it really appears as if he's innocent. I've been checking out much of the, well, the case files, if you will. And again, even though I don't have the, the ability to show the paperwork on my videos yet, but you can just search throughout YouTube many good sources, and I will even say credible sources, such as Ricada Law. I will even say that Umbrella Guy and Hero Hey, even Yellow Flash. These are just people that I watch randomly because they do, in my opinion, a good job of showing us what's going on in this case. <clears throat> a certain somebody says, you know, I don't believe men, I don't believe women, I believe evidence. And, well, evidence seems to support that Vic Mignogna is again innocent. Now, I just wanted to talk briefly about, you know, I've heard that Vic is a Christian. <laughs> Excuse me. And with him being a Christian and myself being a Christian, this reminds me that I tend to believe that what he's going through has a lot to do with his faith in God. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say this is hearsay because a lot of people do say that they're Christians and they do things completely contrary to the faith. But I'm only going by what I've heard. And especially since his enemies in this long drawn off, drawn out case, they have made it known, or should I say evidence, have made it known that his enemies, Vic enemies, have said some, you know, evil things about his fate. As a Christian, this this happened. This is really normal. What's happening to Vic? If what's really going on is based on you know his faith, and of course with the people being jealous of him, you know this is considerably persecution. Persecution. Sorry. <laughs> because us Christians, it's not about who we are, but who we belong to. Just recently on that Umbrella Guys channel, I was watching how apparently many of the Funimation VAs, they, well, ooh, they had this audio full of sexual jokes, very nasty jokes, and I guess word got out about it. You know, I think that because Vic Mignogna, being a Christian, and, you know, the most important part in the word Christian is Christ. I just tend to think that those VAs were super condemned. And they were like, you know, we can't have this Christian man here. And he's going to ruin our fun. Now, this is just what I'm saying, of course. But I wouldn't be surprised if what I'm saying is actually true. Because me being a Christian, you know, people know that you're a Christian. It is a, call it a sixth sense, if you will, because look, I'm not saying this to boast, all glory to Jesus Christ for what I'm about to say. You know, I'll say I, I'm at a job and they got some people swearing and saying nasty things. And I don't know any of these people, you know, but you know, they're just talking the way they talk. I come in and you know, I don't tell them nothing. Sure, I may not like what I'm hearing, but you know, they have that freedom to say whatever they want. So I come in and I just start opening up shop, if you will. And then suddenly when a, say a man or a woman and a person, they see me and they're like, oh, oh, I'm sorry. And I kind of look like, you know, thank you and all, but sometimes it still boggles me as to why, you know, what are you apologizing for to me? Even though I'm glad for the apology. But, and then suddenly, those same people who are, even the one who apologized in this, in this example, 
they would, how can I say this? They'll reveal to me that I'm a Christian. And this is an example, but it's also based off of many true events that's happened to me. And it's always amazing. It's always amazing how people who don't know the Lord still know a person who has God in them. Now, there are some people who will not apologize. They'll know that a Christian is nearby. And instead of having a, a heart to repent, oh no, they'll up the amp, they'll up the ante or however way you say it. I probably just butchered that phrase. They'll get worse, all right? They'll get worse. And their profanity level will go higher. They'll deliberately become, you know, brash. They'll, they'll just get worse, you know? And I think that's due to rebellion. The rebellion that, that automatically exists in us who are not saved, sinful behavior. So, you know, that's just something that if any Christian, if a Christian is watching this or reading this, <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about because it happens. And the thing is, when this type of persecution happens, we have to just stand our ground. You know, uh, not to shove our faith in, down people's throats, no. You know, just stay living for Christ. Because... God does, he finds this honorable indeed when we're persecuted. Yes, it hurts. So oh, goodness, it hurts. I mean, some Christians are, are murdered. Well, at least they die in the Lord and they'll have a greater reward once the Lord comes back for us. So they're in a, they're in good shape for us who are still alive. You know, we just got to keep strong. We got to keep being obedient to the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, give an answer for what people want to know about our faith and, you know, just hold tight. And I don't know Vic Mignogna if he's listening and if he is indeed a man of God, which I'm choosing to believe. And my message to him is, brother, just hang in there because you see how your enemies, everything is collapsing on them. Everything is collapsing on them. All type of skeletons are coming out the closet. It is insane with these people, who they really are and the things that they're doing. Again, with my very little video equipment, I can't show y'all any of the paperwork and all that stuff. But again, I've told you about that umbrella guy, Hero Hey, Yellow Flash, Ricada Law, if I said that right. You can watch their videos and you can catch up on what's been going on with this Vic Mignogna case. And it just turns out that, you know, again, Vic is innocent. All I'm saying is that I just pray that Vic stays strong. And again, it seems like these enemies' walls are coming down. And these people, they got nothing to stand on. They need to give up. They need to surrender. Funimation, in my honest opinion, needs to just weed out all of those VAs. It don't even matter how talented they are. They are disgusting people. Very disgusting people. Very evil people. And those type of people don't deserve to be in leadership. So uh, I guess that's all for now. And I'm just talking about this matter because it's hot right now. And I've been praying about praying that Vic gets his victory because this will also be a huge victory against the feminist slash SJW movement or this old phony baloney Me Too movement. This will be a huge victory. And the thing is, people have got to stay fighting, particularly the men, because this Me Too movement has been doing nothing but going after men and Oh, so much more. This Me Too movement is just pure trash. So that's another reason why a victory in this case will be monumental. God, I hope he wins. But even if there isn't the victory that we want, many people do see that the SJW feminist movement is just outright evil. It's disgusting. And I can go on forever about that, but I'm going to cut it short. Thank you all for listening. You can like my channel. You can subscribe to it. 
I mean, if you want to, I'm trying to keep it busy over here, but eventually I want to get to that point when I'm uploading like boom, boom, boom. I believe I can. I just got to believe. Got to believe in Jesus name. All right, folks. Good night. And we'll talk to y'all later.